My favorite punter and holder is Peter Mortel. Peter Mortel is a legend. The quick lane bowl, perfect laces all day. A couple bad snaps that I got down, I and mean, everyone I'm sure remembers. It's basically the special teams Heisman. I'm kind of surprised you haven't heard about it. 43, 24, I was busy that game. 8-8 eight, eight on holds. At first he told me he was the quarterback. Fourth down quarterback. Specifics are really overrated. Catching like this, first thing you're doing is you're going down. I was hesitant about holding, but when I found out more about the position, I was ready for a ring. Backhand is the pressure, front hand's the spinning. Slight tilt towards you, big sweet spot opened up to the kicker. If you go like this, bam. Yep. There's a science to this, man. Follow the science. He was an all Big Ten punter, spent a training camp with his hometown Packers, married an ER nurse, and is now raising little gophers back in Green Bay. Growing up, I lived two miles from the stadium. We'd go over for training camp. We'd bring our bikes, have players take them from Lambeau down to the practice facility. So that was probably one of the coolest things when I signed with Green Bay, to take the bike with a kid named Liam. He was my bike partner. It was actually funny how it worked out in the locker room. I was number one, but I always gave Aaron Rodgers the first locker. So after I was released, he sent me this picture. Peter, enjoyed having you in Green Bay, buddy. All the best to you in the future, Aaron Rodgers. In my family, there was connections to the Packers well before I was here. My great-grandpa was hunting buddies with Vince Lombardi. My grandpa was the time clock operator for the Packers dating back to 1968. And my dad took it over in 2000. He's doing it present day. Will the game clock operator please reset the game clock? Yeah, it's an important job. Important jobs that go unnoticed run in the family. But Peter's sense of humor made him a fan favorite at Minnesota. NFL.com ranked his social media account number one in college football five spots ahead of Jalen Ramsey. I think that's probably where the comparisons stop between Jalen Ramsey and I. Ramsey may have had the better NFL career, but he's never created his own award. The Holder Award started as a complete joke. December of 2015, the award show. I looked at my roommates and I said, ah, oh, man, we missed it, guys. Well, I didn't see him announce the first team field goal holder. I texted a guy in our recruiting office, and I sent him a picture of me holding, and I said, hey, Travis, can you, can you just edit this? Can you just make it look cool? And he did a great job with it. So I tweeted it out the next morning. Almost instantly, it went viral. An award was born. I just want to thank Peter Mortel for this awesome opportunity to be the holder of the year. I'm officially starting my campaign for the Mortel Award. Pete Mortel, holder of the year. Vote for me. To win the Hodie, you need to be a great holder with a great kicker. It helps to have some personality and a good video. I just come in and do my job, and we have the best. I ultimately decide the winner, but I have an anonymous committee I consult. Outside, cold, one hand, perfect tilt, laces out. There's been six winners, including myself, uh, when I gave it to myself. The amount of holders that started campaigning for this award, I get videos tweeted at me weekly. I mean, it's this type of stuff that gets you drafted 15th overall. Look at finger exercises. Those always make me laugh. I love when they show how they're really good at holding like other objects, whether it's the door. There was a guy who, he just looked up like, I got this. The confidence of this kid's off the charts. One of my favorite videos is from one of the Notre Dame players. Thinking about that moment right before he caught the ball. Do I need my gloves? Mm, no gloves. Are Justin's bangs uneven? Shannon needs to do more squats. Forgot to check the wind. Barometric pressure, stable. Forgot to shave. Christmas cookies? Save a baby. Forgot for my family. For Pete Mortel. If there's an award for that, sick. The award is sick, and it has helped take care of the sick. Undoubtedly, the coolest thing about the award, it, you know, it started as a joke in my apartment, but it's hung around because each recipient teamed up with a charity after winning the award. Everyone at the Children's Hospital is going to be warm this Christmas, that's for sure. Peter raised $30,000 for the Children's Hospital at Minnesota, where he frequently visited with one special patient. 
At Minnesota, I had a coach named Dan O'Brien, and his son was Casey O'Brien, who was at high school battling osteosarcoma. We set a goal of 10 grand. We hit it in four hours. We kept bumping it up. After a week, it was 30 grand. Bought a ton of Christmas gifts for kids who were going to be there over the holiday. We wanted to help upgrade the teen room and help out the teens that are still in there fighting and battling. Casey kicked cancer's ass, graduated high school, went to the University of Minnesota, and walked onto the football team. Last year, he was able to get on the field as a holder. Let's go. For a guy who has such a tough draw, to be able to persevere and battle through. Casey he can now say that he played college football. This is what's all about right here. Here we go. It's a valuable lesson from Peter Mortel. Of all the things you can hold, hope might be the greatest of all. And look at his teammates. You tell me that holders aren't people too. 